Hi everyone, I am Dipali Kulshresht, working at Cloud Analogy as Senior Salesforce Consultant. I am very much active on various social media channels where you can follow me or can contact me directly. Here is my LinkedIn ID, my Gmail account, my Twitter, my phone number and my website. So first of all, I would like to thank you everyone for attending today's webinar on Zoho CRM. This is just a walkthrough of the CRM. So we have Rupali with us as the speaker for today, who is also a part of Cloud Analogy family. Thank you for introducing me, Dipali. I am pleased to take an initiative to conduct this webinar on the topic of walkthrough of Zoho CRM. Let me give you the gist of the topic first. Let us first understand what Zoho CRM is so that all of us are on the same level of awareness as well as understanding before we get going. Zoho CRM is the name of an on-demand software as a service based customer relationship management software solution. It is designed to manage sales, marketing, contacts, customer support and other business functions so that our cloud based tasks are managed at a single platform with no hassle and confusion. Now let us look at what modules are in Zoho. So modules are typically objects containing various fields where records with several different information can be stored. It basically helps you keep track of the various aspects of your business such as sales and marketing, customers, products and many other objects as well. There are two kinds of modules, standard ones and the custom modules, which we can easily create in Zoho according to the customization required in our business. Now, on the next slide, on this slide, basically, I will be explaining briefly about how module based email templates can be created in Zoho and where we can use them. As we all know, fruitful communication is the all important key when it comes to interaction with our customers. So email templates in Zoho provide themes that can be sent to multiple recipients at a time. And we can use email templates as mass emails to our leads or contacts as well as email notifications if this is triggered in a created workflow. Now we will also look forward to how we can get the most out of the workflow rule here on the upcoming slides. Now let's talk about blueprints in Zoho. So in daily life, we can understand blueprints as anything which lets our sales and marketing team follow the process in an organization for inbound leads or contacts. The biggest advantage I would say of a blueprint is uh, to help keep the process repeatable for new sales team, which keeps on refreshing as well as keep track of the right information to flow in the right sequence. I think that's the most important step in a business process, right? As I just mentioned earlier about workflow rules on the earlier slide, workflow rules in Zoho CRM are basically a set of actions. So those actions can be either email alerts, task and field updates that are executed when certain specific conditions are met. The aim of these rules is to automate the process of sending email notifications, assigned tasks, and updating certain fields of a record when a rule is triggered. See how powerful can a workflow prove to be for our business process? We'll also see this in the live org shortly. Let's jump, jump on to assignment rules now. Assignment rules help you automatically assign the records to specific users in Zoho CRM. Like basically if you just want the users to have leads into their accounts on a random basis, this would be a very good option. It is worthwhile to remember here 
that the assignment rule applies only for the leads, contacts, cases and records and custom modules that are imported or the ones that are captured through its web forms. Based on the organization-wide record, distribution process or round robin process as you can see in the image you can automatically assign an owner to the records so you have various options and you can also uh, specify some criteria for the same it might not be possible that sometimes a case is not attended by the person to whom it is assigned right so here comes the case escalation rules into the game. The case escalation feature is available for you to configure a rule by which the case can, can be escalated to other members in the system hierarchy. You can also utilize case escalation rules to set the criteria depending on the distribution rules of an organization. We will shortly look into Zoho how these rules can be created and how you can take the most out of it. Now moving on to the most crucial task which are involved in a business process, which is to have all the data seamlessly transferred into our respective CRM. So let's suppose that you are using maybe Salesforce, right? Or maybe Pipedrive currently and you want to switch into Zoho because of some changes in your sales team or probably in your entire business process. So this involves seamless integration and import export backup from Salesforce to Zoho or from any, any of the CRMs you're currently using into Zoho. So under data administration, you are given two options of import and export, which will help you migrate data from sheets, or in fact, if you're thinking of shifting, like I just mentioned, from any CRM to Zoho, just sync the data from your previous CRM and push it to Zoho and you're done. In fact, you can export as well as also schedule a data backup of all records in your CRM. That's something hassle-free and makes you worry less about the migration, right? Now, if our business is based and completely set up on a CRM, we would want the process of leads entering our system to be an automated one, right? So this can be achieved through web forms in Zoho. Simply create one, copy the code, and get that code embedded into your website. And there you are, anyone filling up the form will enter as a lead directly into Zoho. You do not have to go through all the manual process of, you know, entering all the leads into your Zoho account manually. So that's something automated. All right, so this is a new one, scoring rules. Just like back in exams, we have percentage criteria for passing or failing. We can set scoring rules similar here in Zoho to qualify a lead from its current stage towards the next stage. We'll see in a while how this acts as a productive rule in Zoho since just me explaining it word-wise will not be enough. Let's talk about how approval processes work. An approval process is a workflow that lets the user approve or reject the record submitted through a form in sequential order. The admin of the application can create the approval workflow by specifying the criteria based on which records will be sent for approval, setting multiple levels of approval and assigning an approval for each level. You can also set the action to perform on approval and rejection. So this basically just provides some filters to your process, right? Now, each one of us would have a question that how do I keep my data secure without making any changes, right? So at such a juncture where your organization grows, any minute error in a process could have a domino effect. No organization can afford such a situation. To help overcome this hassle, Zoho CRM offers Sandbox, an environment to test your Zoho CRM settings before you can take it up 
to your production setup where everything is live. This way you can feel much safer about the changes to your settings as you can now test them, identify issues and probably fix them before you take them to your actual live environment. Would you like to call your customers from Zoho itself? Here is an integration of Twilio which directly integrates with Zoho to make communication easier and logging activities and tasks too. So that is something pretty easy now, right? Social activities. If your organization has social media profiles across Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and various other platforms for individual products or services, Zoho CRM makes it easy to manage them by adding the profiles under a brand. With a tighter integration with Zoho Social, Zoho CRM seamlessly synchronizes all your brand profiles and settings in real time. Spend less time setting up the system and more time closing deals. So, I guess I have talked about everything a lot theoretically. It's now time to jump into the real environment and see how things go rolling. So let's move on. Okay, so this is pretty much the live environment I have currently in my Zoho account. So first of all, I would just like to customize my homepage. Every day when I log in into my Zoho account, I want to know the task which I have currently. Not, not per day, but I just want to know for which task I'm missing the due dates. So here, basically this is the environment how it seems. Here when we see you have an option of choosing different task. Let's say my today's task. So, okay, I have one task which is register for upcoming CRM webinars and it is due today. So this should be my priority high. For today so I can always edit my task and then just make it the highest priority right and I can just save it here and then okay so here I am you also have an option of uh, letting Zia remind you so Zia is basically a bot a Zoho bot which works on uh, AI which will always remind you for specific tasks or maybe some events or some reminders so it's really helpful. Moving below I have my events for the day so I have a demo, I have a webinar, a trade show, various things so that that keeps me occupied throughout the day. I also want to see some of my reports on the home page so I have a deals report here which is grouped by stage so I know that these stages this is the basic amount I have and it just gives me an overview of what is going on in the business okay now let me just give you a walkthrough of the modules so here we have leads contacts accounts deals activities reports and analytics and projects here we have the other uh, modules which are products, codes, sales orders, purchase orders, invoices, sales inbox, feeds, campaigns, vendors, price books, cases, solutions and many more. You can also upload your documents. So you can create a new module, a custom module here. So just click on create new module. Here you have to give your name. So you just go on edit properties. Suppose I just want to keep my, let's say, some opportunities with closed leads, maybe. So I can just click on done. And then here, this is the best part in Zoho, where you, you can just drag and drop the fields you want right these are the types of fields you want so if i want let's say a checkbox where i would want to see whether it's a closed one or not so i'll just simply put closed one and then done 
and if this is true then it is otherwise it's not so I'll just save this you can also set the permissions which profiles should have access to the module and then there you are with your opportunity with leads and then you can just add some sections here and then add some fields maybe some email fields date fields and everything so just click on save and then there you are okay so moving on to leads so here you have various different types of leads these are the records right you can always have a view here you can also edit your view right here you can see a preview you can add some fields which you want now here you have different option in leads you have mass delete mass update mass convert man, manage tags mass emails so click on mass email and then you have to create a mass email here you can even schedule or maybe send immediately and then you can have a follow-up action that is email is opened or maybe it's clicked or bounced whatever here and then you can click on send so this is a really good option here okay you can also import your leads directly and then creating a new lead just click on the plus button icon here here you have the title phone mobile all of these values here so okay now moving on to contacts contacts are the same similar view these are just the due dates right so I find this pretty easy to manage my task for the day because I know that okay for this particular contact I have a due date of a task which is due on June 2nd so yes this is pretty easy okay so here you have various options of printing so when you do on print a view you just have these options and then you can have a print of these contacts okay now let's go to the setup so the setup appears on this care icon which you can see right here okay so this is the general setup you have different various tabs lots of stuff into Zoho which depends upon your edition so here you can see many 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 tabs and everything so going on to customization modules and fields this is the basic step of knowing the general stuff of Soho so let's say I want to add some fields and leads and deals okay I just go simply to leads see the three dots here click on fields on the right you have create and edit fields okay probably I want to create a text field so I'll just name it description extended for a best, best practice for a best practice you should always keep saving continuously so that you don't lose track of all the changes you have done okay now let's just cancel this and then go to the details click on let's go back deals and then add some fields here it's the same process uh, whether it's a standard or a custom object it doesn't really matter for every module it's same so I just want to have a currency field where there would be amount deposited Okay, and then I would also want some decimal places to be there. So done. Just save and close. 
so the layout has been updated you can also apply the layout rules you can modify the layout there are some validation rules on the object here so you can choose a field to validate suppose you want the amount to validate right you just specify some criteria here the amount should be less than let's say Twenty thousand. So that's done. The tool will be applied for all the records. If you want to edit, you can edit. I want it to apply only for the closing dates, which isn't which isn't probably the state. Okay. And then you can similarly just apply rules and rules here, and then your alert message should be. Amount is greater than thousand. Please check. Just hit save and you're done. And you can add some links and buttons for your leads. These are some summary. So, all in all, you can see everything in one module. Similarly, for other objects as well. Okay. Now moving on to templates. So as I explained, templates are a very important part where you can send mass emails or maybe individual emails to the to your leads. So here I have created one template by the name of registering lead. So you can always choose some predefined templates. So let me show you how. Okay, here you click on new template you always have an option to select a module okay so here if I want it on accounts this is the most important step choosing the template layout so if you want it for Merry Christmas let's say for holidays you just select this one and then you enter a template name enjoy your holidays greetings and then you can modify this according to your I think it's pretty good so it works for me you can always customize according to yourself you can have a preview and then you can also send a test mail to yourself to check whether everything is properly laid out here you can see this is the way we can add the merge fields by inserting a dollar in front of the field and then the module name and the module field. Okay, so let's save this. And the folder would be, you can also create a new private folder if you don't want everyone to see it. You can just hit on save. And here you are. Okay. Now, let's move on to the other section of Zoho. So, we have some assignment rules. So, assignment rules uh, are basically just made to assign your leads or your contacts, deals, cases, opportunity with leads, right? So, this is the custom module we created. So, here I have created a rule by the name of round robin assignment rule where my leads would be which would be entering into my system will be assigned to the users in a round robin manner so I have selected this option right here and then you can just choose the number of users you have here and then also apply a criteria for the same okay now we have case escalation rules right here so in case in the scenes of automation i would say zoho is very very efficient where it really automates your system you don't really have to do much of the manual task at your end so that's pretty cool so here i've created this rule let me just edit this 
So it doesn't really have a criteria, just a basic one that the case number should not be equal to zero and then it should be escalated here. Okay. Now, moving on to the scoring rules, which I said was pretty new, right? So you can create scoring rules to quantify leads based on their properties. So let's add one. Okay, so let's say I don't want my email to be null. You just save. So you just add 10 points if it is a null. And then maybe if they have opted out, is selected. Then it should subtract 10 points. Subtract maybe 5 points. Okay, so these are the scoring rules on which I can quantify or measure my leads. Okay. Also, you can see that run scoring rules for all regards. Okay. Alright, so here I've added some scoring rules and you can also add some email insights. So email insights score choose criteria. For open I would add some 10 points. For the click I would add 20. Okay, so I would say 5 here and then 7. And then for the bounce. Okay, the bounds I would obviously subtract not 10 but 5. Let's hit on save. Okay, so all of this has been added. Right, so let's move on to the other options scoring rules can be really effective when you want to see and keep track of your leads on the basis of clicks opens or who have bounced so you know that bounced leads are the most useless ones okay so we have Seen assignment rules, case escalation rules, scoring rules, right? Here, let's see the process management. So under the process management, there is blueprint and approval processes, which I had talked earlier into my slides. Now let's look into what these two things are. Okay, so blueprints are basically just a basic sketch or maybe just brainstormed which you want your business process to follow or your sales team to have in their pipeline, right? Okay, so I have created one here which is lead nurturing process. Let's see what does it show. Okay, so here we have the start. You have various states basically here. Okay, so here we have the start. This is the action to gather the details. Okay, and then if it is not contacted, then you have to re-attempt, right? If there is no answer, then you have to attempt to contact. So these are basically the stages on which you want the lead to move on. If the contact has been established, right? Oops. Okay, then it is in the stage of contacted. If it's a bad lead, just make it a junk lead. So that those are really useless leads for us. If they are not interested, they are again a lost lead. And once you start the engagement, they become pre-qualified. And then you can qualify them, you can make them close to one lead, and then that all depends upon your business structure.
okay so you have an option of before during after you can also send email notifications all right you can do make task you can update various fields here you can add some web hooks custom actions tags so all in one you have all the functionality of a blueprint in one all right so let's see the another blueprint which has been created here okay so here we have the first step started in progress in progress if it is marked as complete just move it to the stage of completed if they are resumed just shift it to the stage of waiting for input awaiting input same if it is for do later then that lead becomes a deferred lead okay so there is also an entry criteria for this blueprint which says that the priority is highest so the task process management is considered as a highest priority task all right now let's move on to something else here approval processes so approval processes as i explained is basically some approval rules which would be applied on your leads so let's create a new one i want to select my leads here I want this to be totally on my closed one one I don't really want a description when to execute every time the record is created so I'll add rule to it that the email is never null who should approve well I should be the approver here I don't want to assign any task action upon approval you can update your fields you can choose update your field right maybe you can update the city here right and then you can do various functions here assign the task email notifications call webhooks call functions action upon rejection what do you want if it is rejected maybe send an email to the request manager right just select a template here and then you're done this is your first approval process for a company all right next up we have data administration which is import export data backup let's look into these okay so as you can see you can migrate from other CRM such as Salesforce, Soho if you have another org of Soho, Microsoft Dynamics, Pipedrive CRM, HubSpot CRM, Insightly, Highrise or any other CRM. Okay. Basically other CRM is if you have a sheet prepared for the imports simply click on browse make the mappings and then you're done. Now, let's look at the export. You just have to select export module. If you want your leads to export, just click on export. It just gives you, and then here you have your CSV file ready. Okay. Now let's come to data backup. So you have to download a complete copy of CRM data at $10 backup request. So that depends totally on your edition. All right. So we're done with this. Now you have your storage limits, you have your recycle bin. If you want to restore some items you have accidentally deleted. Okay, now the just something similar to App Exchange, which we have in Salesforce. So you, you have a marketplace of Soho. So let's explore what we have here. Okay, so some of the in functions Zoho we have 
you can integrate with Zoho webinar, Zoho backstage, meeting, projects, desk, survey, writer. There are many, just name it. There is basically also Zoho sign. A native app from Zoho, which helps you to sign your documents, get them signed, which is a total paper work, paperless work. Yeah, and it's also a free app so that's an advantage and it works with almost all of the editions it's compatible okay they have also given some key features how it works and all of the user guides so everything inside so who you have you can see your installed apps from here for now I don't have any so it's zero here you can choose from a number of apps. You can also integrate with MailChimp from for your campaigns right here. So it's also free. Okay. Now let's move on to the other things here. Okay, telephony. Telephony, you just integrate with you can also enable phone bridge you can also have twidio at the same time so there are a number of functions because generally what you would do is that you would call from your office phone and then you would be logging that call into zoho that is a very stepwise process but here you just make a call and then it's directly logged into your record right that's something really easy you can see it here this way and you also have an analytic report that attended how many did not attend how many received how many missed so you have all and all here this is the social uh, branding which I was talking about you can create a brand for Facebook just create you can connect with Twitter or you can connect with Facebook you can add your account and authorize your account and configuration will be done so you'll have all of your social activities synced with Soho okay you have the automate lead generation it's just taking a little bit of time okay so automatically convert social activities into new leads so this is a powerful tool you can configure some automation rules and then if someone posts something related or has an email so it becomes a lead into Zoho or something it's totally dependent you have the admin settings who will be able to give the permissions okay now let's move on to web forms web forms are really powerful and capable when you want your website leads to directly come into zoho it should not be a manual process in today's world especially so you just come to new lead alert here okay this is a web form which i have created recently it's just a sample form so it has a first name last name company city country mobile email and you can also add some capture and file upload as well okay so here we also have the policy uh, policy terms here you can see a preview of your form you can add some customizations and everything go to the next step add the locations save this is the code you would have you just copy the source code and then you just get it embedded into your website this can be on these particular standard modules and this is the custom one okay moving forward you can also have an access to the api's this is basically for the development portion okay and the functions the connections the widgets maybe the crm variables sdks and everything now let's let's just see whether we have configured and moved on to the basic stuff out here 
all right i hope by now all of you must have had a clear overview of the generic functionalities in zoho so let's move on to the q and a session and please let me know if any of you have any doubts so that we can proceed towards answering them okay it seems we have someone uh, to ans to have a question yeah I have a question. Hello, Kali. I have a question. I found your webinar is very interesting. Thank you. I want to populate link cross date to the contact date. Can I do that? Yes, you can do that. So you can do that with the help of a formula field. Mm -hmm. So let me show you how that can be done. Okay. So first you will go to customizations in setup. You will go to modules and fields. Okay, then we move to the module where we want to create. So you want to create on leads. So we will go to fields. Here we will click on create and edit fields. Here you can see there is a formula field option. So we can drag this onto the page layout. Here maybe you can give the name of close date. You can give the formula return type here, decimal currency string, whatever you want. And this is the function where you want to apply hours, minute, month. And this is the editor where you can put the fields from here. So let's say you want the date field. So you can select it from the fields which are available here and you can populate it here. And then you can click on them. So I think, I hope this was... Uh, helpful to you and it resolved your query yeah thanks everybody it's very helpful okay so i think someone else has also joined with us on this q a session hi rupali i found this uh, webinar really informative as i had no idea about the zoho okay so i have a question uh, so in zoho how can i analyze or accumulate uh, like I have a website from where my leads are coming. So um, like, there is a process I can calculate or uh, analyze the data. Okay, so do you want to see the daily leads in that? Yes. Okay, so they, this can be done simply through reporting and reports in Zoho. So let me quickly show you how we can do that. Okay, so here you can see on the taskbar we have on the menu reports. Just click on reports. And then we have the report name as today's leads. So Zoho uh, automatically and by standard functionality provides you a report where you can manage your today's leads. So here, as you can see that today I, in my system, I have 10 records, which are all the leads which have entered through my website. So also you can connect your website to Zoho with a simple web form, which you can embed in your website. I, and I think you'll be good to go to have this report impact on your home page and then you can always analyze this daily. So I hope I have cleared out your query. Yes, uh, I have like my questions, I have got my answers. So I will be working with that. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you everyone for joining this interactive webinar and I'm looking forward to your comments and likes on this webinar. Thanks a lot.